Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These are general messages so they may or may not resonate. Feel free to check your other placements if it doesn't. I'm going to look at you and your person and see how they feel about you. What their next move is going to be when it comes to this relationship and so on. So let's see, what's this person's energy towards Leo? What's their energy? Okay. Feeling left out in the cold here. Five of Pentacles. This person may feel like you have let them left them out. Okay. Um there could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person might reach out to you at some point. Because we have the page of cups. But they do feel left out, so I'm not sure what they want to say. Or if it's going to be conflicting or what, but let's see. What's Leo's energy towards this person? You know, I was just hearing Aries in my head, I was going to say. Like, you could be dealing with an Aries, but the card didn't come out, but now it has the Emperor. Could be an Aries that you're dealing with. Some of you... Some of you are wanting to reach out or willing to reach out. I don't see much bad blood here. But it's more like... It's more like them just still feeling left out in the cold for some reason. I feel like it has to do with something from the past. Um, they may have felt rejected by you in the past in some way or could be current, currently going on. What's the recent past energy for Leo? Recent past energy when it comes to Leo. There was some guardedness. Some of you really had a strong connection with this person or still do, but they there may have been um somebody may have become really defensive at some point. There could have been some things that were said that were very straightforward, some some things could have been harsh here. But the connection seems really deep rooted. Some of you may have Earth in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or so, or this person could. What's the energy of this connection? Things may be on a break for some of you. There's still an emotional connection there. There's still a lot of feelings, but things are things seem to be on a break. And for some of you, they might not be on a break, but there's still like this lack of saying what needs to be said. Okay, we got the fool here. So that might change very soon. Someone might take the leap, but I do see there being this, you know, this kind of silence or this both of you individually separately thinking about the situation from, from each's own perspective. Give me some insight for Leo and this connection. Okay. So we have ascending, transcending, obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union, engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion and union. You have healing hearts, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction, paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So there is this, there's, there's the past. I don't know if, it, if, if this heartbreak was with this person or if this person themselves experienced heartbreak before you. But there's some, one of you are healing from toxic situation that could have been like that energy could have been brought into this relationship and affected it in some way in the recent past. This person, it could be them because they have the five of pentacles and I'm hearing that it's an inner feeling of unworthiness. So this person may have somewhat of a low self-esteem or they just feel unworthy sometimes. They feel low, they could be dealing, they could deal with depression at times as well. So, let me take a deeper look at this person. It could be, keep in mind, Aries or Leo Sagittarius. 
We also have Pisces, can oh we have we have all the elements here so far. Okay. Let's see. This person that Leo is dealing with. How do they feel about Leo? How do they feel about Leo? What's their next move? What's the outcome going to be? Give me insight to this person that will help Leo. Please shuffle right. <laughs> Show me this person Leo is dealing with right now. They do see this relationship as somewhat of a risk or a trigger for their, um, I want to say depression, but I'm just going to say stress because not all of you are dealing with someone who is, who, who really deals with that much of depression, you know, it may just be slight anxiety for some of you. There could be a Libra for some, Scorpio energy. Again, with the Page of Swords, this, this is the person who is defensive. So it does look like it's gearing more towards them being um, very defensive. So they could have pushed you away in the past because of these feelings that they have. But they, when it comes to you, they have the Queen of Cups. So there's a deep emotional connection. There's deep feelings going on. However, they can easily start to feel anxiety and feel scared emotionally. And so that could have caused issues in the past or even or even recently. But they're seeing you as justice. They see you as someone who really balances them out. Like a, seeing you as a good match for them. However, the relationship itself, like maybe love itself, scares this person. The whole being vulnerable and opening up emotionally does trigger like past like fears of the past repeating for this person we have the seven of sorry the six of wands as this person's fears they don't really like to be out there this could be someone who's like really low-key um, position of their wishes we have the knight of wands this person has a lot of passion. I feel like they want to express a lot to you. I, I just feel like they don't want it to turn into conflict. This could be someone who's involved in like something athletic, like maybe they just go to the gym or they're an athlete, but they seem to really let out a lot of energy physically. And that's how they kind of deal with their anxiety. So if you deal with someone who goes to the gym every day, you don't understand why you have to go to the gym every day. That's their outlet. That's what keeps them happy and releases stress and tension for this person. So anything physical that they do. Um, the king of wands in the center. Maybe they're a fire sign. Could be a fire sign couple. Very likely here. But what's blocking is the three of wands. The fact that this person could be um, impatient. It seems like they really want to connect with you physically. So if it's long distance, they really want to come towards you. But there is some kind of waiting that this person is. This person doesn't really want to wait too long. So we have the Queen of Swords as their next move. Some of you, this person may continue to be really guarded when it comes to their heart. They may. I get the feeling that they may come towards you. But they may still be guarded because they just have so much fear when it comes to the feelings like this. They want this relationship, they have feelings for you, but when they look at the relationship itself and it becomes real, it brings back, it, it brings them to this nine of swords and they need, that means they need to heal. That's why we have healing heart here. They, they are in the process of healing still and trying to love you at the same time. So it's really count like it, it just doesn't they just don't go together but they're trying 
So we've got the death card here in a position of what you need to know. They are going through a transformation. So it's like bear with them. This person is changing. They are releasing a lot of baggage. So this person does look like someone who is trying to heal. They're trying to release everything that they're carrying. Um, it's just that when they try to be in a relationship with you at the same time, it kind of slows things down or it just doesn't work out, you know? So, but I don't feel like that's it's going to end like that. I feel like I feel like they'll eventually they'll make it work. It's just that they they're trying to carry too much. They think they feel like they can take on the world and heal at the same time. <laughs> Let me see you in the situation. Show me Leo. What's Leo's energy here? How does Leo feel? What's the outcome for Leo? Show me Leo in this connection. What's their outcome? King of Cups. I see you having nothing but love for them. Show me a spread for Leo. King of Wands. King of Wands keeps coming out here. Okay. You still carry feelings for this person. Some of you are trying to like not feel so much for this person because you feel you so you may feel like they're bringing you down a little bit with their with what they're dealing with which could be true but i do see them really working on it again with the emperor aries energy we have the empress libra energy so some of you are really focusing on you and healing as well we have the moon Wow, okay. Some of you don't, some of you are unsure of what you want to do. You kind of want to uncover and, and figure out what's going on with this person. And you will. Part of it, I, I mean, I just told you some of it, but like, you will uncover and find out what you need to know about them and what's going on. But I see you carrying the feelings for them. And I see with the Eight of Wands, King of Pentacles. You do see this relationship moving forward. Like some of you may start to see that they're communicating with you. It's kind of going somewhere. You're seeing them as a king of pentacles. They seem to have, maybe financially they have it together, just not emotionally. But some of you just see like this really stable connection or direction for this person. We have the page of swords as your fears so some of you don't like the fact that they are so guarded and they do hold back you also fear that they may say harsh things like they may have said in the past but the hierophant the six of swords there could very well be um a future here it really does look that way it just looks like there's a lot of work we've got the six of swords is blocking so it's like trying to move forward with them, but it keeps, it, it's, it's delaying. And the reason why it's delaying is because of this person. They're not completely healed yet. So they cannot like fully function and move forward like a healthy minded person yet. Okay. Six, not six, three of cups as their next move. So this person does plan to reach out. They plan to try to reconcile with you. Again, them trying to carry the weight of the world and heal at the same time. Them trying to make it work with you and heal. You know, it's, they're trying to do a lot. But you're going to start to see things differently the more you start to understand what's going on with this person. And you'll feel more in control because you got the Emperor as your outcome. So you'll start, the more you know about your person that you're dealing with the more you'll feel in control the more you'll understand and say okay that that way you can start blaming yourself you can start thinking that there's something wrong with you you know the more you know the more in control you will feel of the situation so let's see 
Give me some advice for Leo. Messages for Leo. You're not flying. Okay. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Some of you may have met someone or might meet a new potential. We have wedding. The situation involves marriage. It could be that you're married to this person. But we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Some of you may, your eye may wander. You might see someone new that you like. But you're going to have to decide what you want. We are very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. So it's like, do you want to, for those of you who have met someone new or could possibly meet a new crush, do you want to make this work with the person you've been with? Or do you want new love? It's like, that, that kind of came out of nowhere, that new love situation. But that's how it might be. Someone new might come out of nowhere, leaving you to make a decision. Give me advice for Leo. We have let go. Perfect timing. Don't stop and romance. This just confuses things even more. Especially if someone new does walk into your life or has walked in. This confuses things more because it's like... Are you going to give this person a chance? Are you going to work on the partnership? Or are you going to let go and move forward? It really depends on you. And I feel like, as I said before, the more you know, the easier it will be to make a decision of whether you want to move forward with this person or not. I feel like the only thing that's blocking you is confusion. So once you know more, you'll be able to... to move on to move forward from there move forward and move on you know so you could be dealing with a scorpio libra aries pisces or cancer more libra energy here there was strong aries energy as well but for the most part i see this person like trying they're trying but some of you, um, some of you, they may have been trying for a long time and you just can't wait any longer. Some of you can wait. It depends on your situation. I do see them um, really trying though. But this, the whole love thing just brings them a lot of fear. Okay. So keep that in mind and see how it goes. This is what I'm seeing for you, Leo. You can check your other placements in your chart if you want to know what else to expect here. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.